Okay, uh, so now let's start, see how we can extract Twitter in Python. Um, the demo code is provided here. So if you click this URL and you will be directed to my GitHub page where you can download uh, the notebook. Uh, so here I'm on my GitHub page where this is a notebook. Um, so we can download the notebook. So let's right click and save link as. And you can see, we can save that one to our, to our local uh, computer. And next, let's go to our classroom and go to our AWS console. And let's start our notebook. And I said best, the, best, the best practice is that once your notebook instance is started, so let's do a synchronize with our uh, GitHub repository. Okay, um, although you are the only owner of your GitHub, but normally the, I would recommend that every time we synchronize our local, our notebook instance with our GitHub repository. Okay, uh, so let's say go to the GitHub and uh, let's make a pool. Okay. Um, I don't know why I have this lab six unchanged, but uh, but I will I will check that later. Okay, and let's open our uh, notebook instance, and now let's upload uh, the notebook that we downloaded from my GitHub. So let's click upload, and we select that one, and let's call it uh, lecture nine. Okay, and upload. Okay, uh, so now we have uploaded our uh, notebook instance, uh, our notebook to our notebook instance. Uh, so before we start, so let's uh, see what Python libraries we need. So uh, to make connection with MongoDB, and we need those three Python libraries. Uh, PyMongo is the one that uh, to make connection to the MongoDB Python library. Um, the, the other two Python libraries are something that's pretty new. That is because, I guess, after Python 3, so those are also required so that um, make sure you can uh, uh, successfully connect to your Python library. We will use REST API and also Stream API in this uh, lecture and also in our lab. So uh, the, the API that we are going to use for the REST API, the library that we are going to use for the REST API is called Twitter. And the library that for the streaming API is called TwiPy. Okay, uh, so here those are the URLs that um, you can get more details about those Python libraries. So the, the process is that, so first, um, if you like, you can create a tweet app at apps.twitter.com. So uh, you, need, you have to have a Twitter, normal Twitter account first, and next you will be able to uh, uh, apply for a Twitter app, and once you have the Twitter app, you will be able to uh, request the keys and tokens. Okay, remember that those keys and the tokens are something like your username and also password, so that uh, every time when you make a request, and Twitter will know, okay, so you're authorized to make those requests. And next, we need to save those APIs API keys and also MongoDB connection info into this config.ini file. Okay, into this config.ini file. Um, so I provided those API keys and also model connections on Canvas. So you can just copy those information into your um, into your config.ini files. So specifically, we will create a my Twitter and also where we have. API key, secret, access token, secret, and you just copy and paste those um, keys that I provided on Canvas. And also same for the MongoDB. So uh, the connection information for MongoDB is also uh, provided on Canvas. So you can just copy that one and paste that one on cam uh, from Canvas. Uh, next, we are going to use PyMongo to, to connect to our, to, to our database. And remember here, you can only connect to your own database. So for example, if you are GP1, 
and you can only connect to your GP1 database uh, with a user of GP1 and also with a password that um, that on your on campus of your GP1 group page. And next, we're going to use API to connect tweets. So we'll use REST API and also Stream API. Um, after we have the tweets that have been connected, uh, we will build the tweets in Python. So we will use pprint Python library, or we can use pandas. Okay, and we can see both. Um, and each of them have their advantages and also disadvantages. Okay, uh, so now let's go to our configure.ini. And where we already have those AWS uh, authorization information. So let's first type uh, Twitter. So let's call it my Twitter. And where you need to say API K equals uh, API secret equals access token equals and access secret equals and next let's say we want to put the mongo my mongo where you need to provide connection equals okay so those case and those connection information, you can find that on Canvas. So I'm going to copy and paste from Canvas. Okay, so now I copy and pasted those keys and those connection from Canvas. Uh, remember that I provided a different set of APIs and also tokens. So depending on which groups you are in, so you can just copy and paste those set of API keys uh, that uh, is for your group, okay? Um, and also for the connections, remember that we're going to replace a username to your uh, database username. So for example, if you are GP1 and put that one, your username GP1. So here I'm going to tap demo. And it is similar to, for your password, okay? Uh, so if your password is like this and you, you just type your password, okay? So make sure that you use the password that um, uh, we, uh, that is posted on Canvas, uh, your group page. Okay, and finally, let's save that one. Okay, let's save the config file, and we can now safely close this one. Okay, so as we said, we need to pip install those Python libraries. And you may need to restart your notebook instance after you install those Python libraries. Uh, when I was testing the lectures, I find out after installed those Python libraries, I still need to restart the notebook instance. Otherwise, I will still receive those errors. And the next, you need to import those Python libraries. So we import Py, Mongo, JSON, TweetPy, Twitter, pprint, config parser, and also pandas. And once we have imported those Python libraries, um, here we are going to load information from parser so that we are going to authorize our APIs and also authorize our connections to a MongoDB. And here you can see uh, we are going to connect to the MongoDB. So client dot, the demo is my database. So if your database is, um, it is using different database name, for example, um, GP1, okay? and you have to replace the demo um, uh, to GP1. And database.tweet collection, so this is a collection name, so that we're going to create a, uh, a connection in our database, which will, will be the tweet collection. And next, we will create an index. The index is, is based on ID key. And the reason that we want to make this index is because we want to make sure that all the tweets that we collected are unique. So we don't want duplicated tweets. Okay, uh, so now let's start our lecture nine. Okay, and we're using Condor uh, Python 3 kernel. That's great. So let's install those Python libraries. So the first one. Okay, and let's install the second one. Okay, and let's install the third one, which I already have. That's fine. That's great. Uh, let's install TweetPy. 
Okay, and finally, let's install Twitter. Okay, it's done. Uh, so as I said, so I would restart the kernel. Just make sure that uh, those installed Python library will um, uh, be used uh, in this kernel. So I just go kernel and also restart. Okay, so now it is ready. So now let's move on. So let's import those Python libraries. All right. And now let's uh, say we want to uh, authorize our app. So, and now let's make the connection again. If you are using, um, so make sure that you switch demo to the database of your database name. So for example, if I'm using JP1, so this should be, this should be JP1, okay? So I'm using demo database, I will use demo. And we'll create a new collection called Twitter collection. Okay, so let's write. Okay, so that's success. Okay, so now we have authorized our uh, Python code, so we can make, we made a connection to our uh, uh, MongoDB cluster. 